from KTUL Tulsa. You're watching Good Day Tulsa. We're going to be hearing from our favorite celebrity historian, Rafi Andonian, and he's going to be uh, getting us familiar with the new $1 coin that features an Oklahoman on it. Yeah, and it's cool. I've never seen him this way, so when he yeah. displays him and shows it to you, you'll be like, really? This is cool. I never bought this much money, so how would I know? Our favorite celebrity historian, Rafi Andonian, will be joining us to share some history about the new $1 coin. We'll be right back. Well, the U.S. Mint has released the 2023 $1 coin, and guess who's on it? Osage County native Maria Tall Chief. Joining us here in the studio to share some knowledge, because he's got a ton of it on Maria, is our favorite celebrity historian, Rafi Andonian. Good to see you again, Rafi. It's always a good time when you grace us with your presence. And today, I thought this was a great, I mean, because it's so local to us. Yeah. It is, and it's not only local, but what's interesting is that it has an international impact, right? right. And there's a national treasure, because Maria, Maria Tallchief puts American ballet on the world map. Okay, now she was an Osage native, and her sister, and there were several, They call, I think they were called the Five, Five Moons. Moons. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Maria's upbringing and how she kind of got into this. Yeah, so Maria, what happened with Maria is that she, when she grew up, she grew up actually in a very well-off family. She said that she felt like her father owned the town because this was in the era just after the oil boom ah, that the Osage okay. had. Uh, they were put on land that was not supposed to be very productive, but it turned out there was oil there, right? right. So she was able to take ballet lessons starting at age three, but her mom kind of uh, put her also in uh, local rodeos and other places for doing not necessarily just ballet, but doing things that she felt were more stereotypically American Indian, and she didn't like that. So mm. there's got a little bit of that conflict. But what was really fascinating is that she was important about her upbringing is that she drew from the rhythm of the powwows. That's what she said. She always had that in her head. Oh, so when oh. she learned ballet, she had this unique kind of combination that really propelled her later. How fascinating is yeah. that? So how did she shape, though? You said she shaped American ballet. How does she do that? So many ways. So think about it this way. American ballet, this is in the 1940s, 50s, 60s. It's not really on the map. Okay. It's not really influential in the world. Well, when she shows up, a few things happen. One, she produces, or she's the lead ballerina. It's called the Prima Ballerina in New York City okay. for the Nutcracker which was at the mm. time kind of obscure. Today, of course, a right. regular every single right. year. Everybody has seen it. And so, that's yeah. because of Maria Talci, for example, wow. because she made it huge. So we're still in that legacy, right? Another thing that happened is she was the first American of any kind, anyone from the U.S., to perform at the Paris Opera Ballet. And when the Europeans came, they were interested to see the daughter of an Indian chief in their perspective. Right. But right. she then blew them away much beyond that with her athleticism and her artistry. And that really put her on the map and American ballet started to follow as a result of that Fabulous. and the five moons all of them are from here in Oklahoma one of them is her, si right. sister, her of sister course. Marjorie so it's so huge with her at the lead and if you look on the coin now watch how this money out. comes out we yeah. don't always get to see money yeah. like this yeah. this is straight from the US Mint because these coins just came out they cool. just came out last week so on the back of the coin and I have a close-up that you could see sure. is that she's in the front now, she's in the front, but behind her are four other ballerinas, and that represents the five moons, right? Because right. there's five of them, one plus okay. four. But also, the reason they have the ballerinas behind her is to help her kind of help show the legacy she left for ballerinas after her. So there's oh, symbolism wow. there. The $1 How coin. How beautiful. Now, you can get these from the U.S. Mint right now. Yeah, Absolutely. you can buy a $25 roll for how much? <laughs> 35. <laughs> yeah, they charge you more. We'll be the mint to make a little profit. And you can when use it as money. Yeah, yeah but the you government's can, involved. But you lose you know, right away. <laughs> they keep coming and going. Every well, time the government's involved, mm -hmm. you're going to take it into pocket. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, you always have the most fascinating information for us. And I, it, we are always just blown away by the mm -hmm. information you bring us. So if you'd like to find out more about Maria Tallchief or anything going on with Rafi Andonin, you can check him out, Celebrity Historian. Visit his website at celebrityhistorian.com. Or for more on Maria Tallchief, you can visit TulsaHistory.org.